Today, young people can have their ideas go virtual and viral in the time that it takes to hit the send button. Young people are managing a myriad of social networking tools that eliminate communication barriers, allowing them to build connections, raise awareness, and collaborate with decision makers in their communities. But it wasn't always this way. There was a time when youth were only an audience. Young people inherited ideas about who they were and how their environment functioned from decision makers in the media, education, and other systems. This was the time before the virtual assets existed that gave rise to the youth movement. However, the way that systems interact with young people today is sometimes based on this old model. The problem with transmitting beliefs from systems to youth is that those beliefs are not informed by the young person's experience and observation. The great ideas generated by young people are separated by silos and silence. The youth movement is a civil and human rights movement wherein young people generate ideas that lead to positive systemic change. Youth voice is the connective tie that has been missing from our fragmented social systems. Youth engagement can yield ideas that facilitate productive dialogue. These ideas have already revitalized once robust communities, helped others to become supportive neighbors, and spread eagerness about their role within our democratic political system. When youth work collectively, they create spaces where peers can gather to meet one another's need for social and individual health and well-being. This includes connecting one another with appropriate resources, combating the stigma that comes from isolation, sharing conversations about productive economy, and also discussing how to better work with intergenerational allies. In sum, Youth Voice can liberate some of our best ideas for creating the type of world we want to live in. Youth engagement elevates our highest ideals for liberty and freedom and human consciousness. And isn't that what we've been advocating for all along? A future where youth are free from the constraints of silence and silos? The future is now, and we call it the Youth Movement. <laughs>